Hey guys, today I made these fun zipper nails and I wanted to show you how I did them. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you enjoy it. Here are the items I used in today's tutorial. You can also find a list of everything that I used at the end of the video as well as in the comments below. The base color on my nails is China Glaze's Poinsetta. Using your nail paintbrush, you're going to create a line on your nail diagonally across it about an eighth of an inch thick. The color that I'm using is Wet n Wild's Fast Dry. It's called Ebony Hates Chris. Next, you're going to create a V at the end of the line. I'm using the end of the line that is closest to the edge of my nail. Now just repeat this on every other nail. On each nail, the line does not have to be facing the same direction. You can have one nail facing one direction, the other nail facing the other direction. Just because I chose to make them all go in the same direction on each hand doesn't mean you have to. If you like, you can make the V on the edge of the line that is closest towards your cuticle, or even horizontally across your nail. Do what makes you happy and what you like. Once you've let the black dry, you're going to add a top coat to each nail. I'm using my posh top coat. I also used my posh base coat underneath the red base color. We added this top coat to make it easier to erase mistakes when stamping. That way we don't erase everything that's underneath. The plate that we're using is Bundle Monsters 202. We will be using this little zipper on the side here. I'm using Conad Special Polish in silver. The reason I'm using this color is because I think it kind of looks a little metallic and I think that's perfect for the zippers. Line up the zipper with the line that you created early as best you can. It can be a little tricky, but if you mess up, you can remove it with some nail polish remover and then try again. That's why we added the top coat. Just keep trying. You will get it eventually. <laughs> and this is what happens when you don't let your polish dry before you start stamping. When stamping, the polish usually dries rel relatively quickly, so you should be able to go ahead and start outlining. Just grab your paintbrush and your black and go ahead and start outlining all the zipper stamps that you just added to your nails. If you like, you can finish your nails right here. They look really cute. But if you want to continue, go ahead and take your paintbrush and add little dashes right next to the outlines that you just created. This will simulate stitching lines. That way, it will look like you have zippers stitched right into your nails. And then just repeat this on every other nail. Although now that I think about it, if you had stitches or a zipper stitched right into your nails, that would be rather painful. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Once you finish adding the stitches to each nail, you're going to add your top coat again. This will seal in everything that you just created. Adding a top coat doesn't just seal, it also adds luster and shine and evens out the design that you just created. It also makes your design last much longer. I had a lot of fun making this design on my nails. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you guys do this on your nails too, show me. I'd love to see it. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if there's something that you guys want to see, let me know. Send me a message. You guys have a good rest of your day. Bye!